What's going on everybody? I'm getting back started on some 6-4 shit. Um, getting ready to do uh, the cam phaser limiter. Uh, I've got the Brian Tooley Racing and the Brian Tooley cam limiter, uh, the four degree cam limiter for the cam sprocket. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. I've got a couple other little things that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of talk about. Uh, making my own EGR delete kit. Um, and so I'm gonna show you kind of what I have uh, all entailed with that. But uh, really, first thing first, uh, go ahead and get the cam gear situate, cam gear uh, limiter situated, or cam phaser, whichever one you wanna call it, because it is technically a phaser. So your first step with uh, this is make sure you got the bolt, the tool, and the limiter itself. And then uh, kind of, identify um, that's where the tool goes so off to the left of that is where is the only bolt you don't take out so you kind of just flip that one over and go ahead and mark that so mark that one real quick let me go grab my marker so go ahead and mark that one so that's when you don't remove you just gotta loosen it a little bit and then uh, these are a T25, I believe. Yep. And then uh, go ahead and loosen all these things. And then you gotta flip this one over and get the tool in there. All right, so I got them all busted loose. And now I'm gonna flip it over. Track that. Obviously it's the only one that the tool can really go in but make sure that tool that little pin is all the way out so it doesn't bother you whenever you're putting it in there make sure it's flush and then 3 16 allen socket and you gotta tighten it not loosen it just kind of snug it up it's got a little plastic tip, so it doesn't need to be super. Make sure it kind of stops. Boop. And then so now, once you get that out, I've already got all these loosened up, so put them all out. But anyways, yep, you got that old oil. She is nasty. I think this is the, yep, that's the long one. Let's so make sure you get that in right. Now the other ones, yeah. Anyways, after you do that, you put that in. I go to this side. So here's the bolt, there's the tool, and then comes in over here. I guess that's the way it's supposed to go right there. So once you drop that in there, slide this cover back over. Make sure you put some blue lock tight. I'm gonna clean these bolts up real quick. Put some lock tight on them. <clears throat> so after you get them all torqued down, you could and lock tight it of course you can uh flip it back over and then take this off and now it's all done you got your uh cam phaser locked out so this is ready to go back or go on the camshaft and it's ready to be installed but we can go ahead and get to the EGR so all I did was cut the top of or the flange off of the exhaust this part right here and then I used a hole saw 
and I cut a hole out. I think it was inch and a quarter. Can't remember. And then I did the same thing with the tube that goes to the actual EGR up there on the timing cover. So, um, well, that one goes directly into the intake. So I just cut that off, welded a little flange on it, or welded on the flange. And uh, that's pretty much all you need. Uh, what I'm also gonna do is take 5 8 because this is pretty much a uh, 5 8 line. So I'm gonna take a 5 8 pipe thread and uh, tap that and then uh, put a plug in it because that goes directly to the EGR cooler itself. So instead of just putting a cap on it and having that hose, that uh, metal line run up there, I'm just gonna tap it and put a little thread uh, pipe in there. So just put a little thread in there, but obviously this is just a cut off of a bolt. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Other than that, it's pretty much straightforward. I'm gonna delete this little housing all together. I'm not gonna have a little bright or anything on it. It's just gonna be open. Uh, what else? Gotta get the gasket for the oil filter housing. And then, uh, yeah, I had to drill these studs out. So that took a couple, couple hours. And uh, cause that was the only way to, that I could think of to get the acorn off. So uh, I had the acorn up here, I guess somebody tossed it or was looking at it. But uh, without messing up the rim, that was pretty much the only way that I could see to get it out. So I center punched the stud itself and then just drilled as far back. I thought I was all the way through that bitch. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest, but I knew for certain I was past the acorn so I just kept drilling it drilling it and then whenever the acorn um, finally came loose uh, stopped and then I kicked the tire off it didn't come off very easy it didn't just it didn't just fall off <laughs> I'd actually go underneath the truck and kind of kick it and nudge it off but um, now that I showed you the EGR delete uh, the EGR cooler delete and all that stuff. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and install the cam into this bad boy. So let me go ahead and take its skirt off. It's still wrapped up right now. And uh, I'll be right back. So I got the block all cleaned up and everything. I started putting these plugs in. Figured I'd save the last one for the camera. But they're uh, genuine Mopar accessories. They're uh, the stock block off plugs. So. Boop. Just kind of a dummy plug. It's our, I've already got plenty of oil in here. So I dumped oil on the whole engine. So I just pretty much put it in there, make sure it's lined up, push it down, line up the hole, you grab the bolt, obviously thread it in there. And then it's easiest to use like a little impact. Me and my fat thumbs, but I just use a little impact. That sucks right down in there. I don't really impact it in because they're very tiny bolts, but about 10 foot pounds or so. Make sure it's snugged up, ain't gonna go nowhere. Don't break it. And then really, um, that's about all the goodies. That we gotta do before we uh, put the cam in, get the lifters installed and uh, install the head. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the cam in real quick and uh, after that, pretty much call it a, a day because I got to let the lifters soak in some oil before I uh, install them because they've just been sitting in the package. I uh, should have went ahead and put them in some oil last night, but I uh, was doing some carbon fiber shit, so I didn't really get around to doing that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Here's the big boy cam. It's just a Trek Norse cam. 
nice little chop definitely opens up the uh, performance aspect of it so I'll go ahead and cover this thing with oil get my gloves on and we can slide it in all right so i got the truck norris i lubed it and um on these push rod motors it's a little bit easier to grab something push it in the middle put it in the middle of the can kind of like a a pole or extension that fits in there perfect you just kind of got to lift it up push it in feed it in get in the next hole but whenever you get to these bottom ones it's a little bit easier to put something in there let me go find something real quick there is 100 percent no chance i was getting in there with getting that in there with one hand but what i did was whenever i got it to the last part of it i flipped the motor all the way upside down and as i was flipping it and letting it turn um to let the weight of it let the weight of it um uh kind of transfer to where it slid up um that's whenever i was pushing it in and then i had to rotate it uh, right side up like this to get it in over that last little groove so don't be scared to rotate the motor uh but really i just put this bolt back in here and just fed it in there it gave me enough um leverage to be able to kind of feed it all the way up to the last hole and then i just rotated it so found that was the easiest way to get these push rod cams installed whenever you're trying to get them all lined up so but yeah other than that besides that i gotta wait on the lifters to get filled up with oil um and uh pretty much uh I'm, so i'm gonna stop the video here but uh other than that i'll go ahead the next video i'll be doing the timing and putting the lifters in and putting the heads on and um going on from there uh but go ahead and hit the like and subscribe i really appreciate you guys checking out these videos and if you guys don't mind hit the share button if you have anybody building or if you know anybody building one of these six fours uh but yeah until then see you guys